please. You might be virtual, but you are wonderful. Welcome back to the Hollywood Hot 100 with me, James. Showbiz news with a smattering of sarcasm. What's that? The mask on the chin. Oh, on the chin. Yes, it is on the chin. That's all the rage, apparently. Now, as you probably know, celebrities here in Hollywood can't follow instructions, least of all in a global pandemic. And many of them have been seen out and about wearing their protective masks on their celebrity chins rather than over their noses and mouths. Let's have a look, shall we? Here's our first person. It's Harry Styles. Now, he's not listening to any direction at all by wearing his mask below his nose nose and mouth and leaving himself and others exposed to the virus if he's asymptomatic. Let's move on. Who's next? Well, it's the very difficult Megan Fox and she's refusing to listen to official guidelines, naturally of course, and she's resting her mask on her celebrity chin under her nose and mouth. So perhaps there's been some post-surgery turkey neck collapse or something that she's trying to disguise. Moving on, here's our third person looking extremely disheveled. Yes, this person not only has more than one celebrity chin, but doesn't have a mask. Well, we couldn't have that. So Matthew Perry, here's your mask. Get wearing it. Okay, and finally, this person isn't resting their mask on their celebrity chin, rather over their nose. This is because they need their other facial orifice, their mouth, free to savour a cigarette. Yes, it's our very own gruff voice superhero, Batman himself. It's Ben Affleck. But of course, this is a virus and I'm slightly worried. So, Ben, how do you feel? Well, I got it. <laughs> Moving on, and there is no doubt that COVID-19 has disrupted our first world social lives, leaving us all pining for a night out that we can't remember afterwards. And the fashion world has not escaped this devastation, meaning this year they weren't able to pay celebrities to wear obscenely expensive and ridiculous costumes to the Met Gala that was due to take place on May 4th. But I thought we'd take a look back at some of the outfits that have made us laugh over the past years. So here we go. First up, we've got Celine Dion, who just last year was compared to a pasta drying rack. I can see why. Uh, moving on, Janelle Monet compared to Mr. Potato Head. It's uncanny, really, this one, isn't it? Okay, third up, we've got Rihanna and Sarah Jessica Parker, quite literally out of the frying pan and into the fire back in 2015. And finally, who could forget in 2013, Kim Kardashian and her sofa dress. And of course, Kim Kardashian is a wonderful example, isn't she, to just about anybody. But not to this plastic surgery addict. Oh no, because he went to a Turkish clinic to try and, well, look like Kim. And instead of implanting, well, butt implants into his bum, they used breast implants to save some money. Yes, here he is. Oh, goodness me. Jordan James Park says he could have died and has since been plagued by agonizing pain in his backside ever since. Pain in your backside, you say? I don't believe it. <laughs> and finally, this week's thirsty celebrity of the week is the terrific Dina Lohan. Yes, around the world on Sunday, it's of course Mother's Day and Lindsay Lohan's infamous momager, Dina, is about to release her brand new very own podcast, which is called Listen to Me, the OG Mama D. And it will be covering a wide range of very hard hitting topics such as COVID-19, relationships and how to bring up children in Hollywood, which I thought was rather interesting, considering that her daughter Lindsay has had her <laughs> own very well-documented troubles. She really is a chip off the old block. The old block being Dina, who just herself escaped a six-month jail sentence. Why, you ask me? Well, apparently back in January, she allegedly rear-ended a car while being intoxicated. Well, luckily for her, even though it wasn't her first offence, the judge said she could avoid jail time if she entered a stint in rehab, which she did. And I think you'll agree, she's looking much better. Hmm. <laughs> And before I leave you, there's lockdown news from the Spears dynasty. Yes, Jamie Lynn Spears has been opening up about what it was like to spend time with Britney during the coronavirus quarantine. 
Now, serial pyromaniac Britney Spears recently, of course, had a misunderstanding with her personal trainer when he said that they were going to set the gym on fire, and she took it a little too literally. I burnt my gym down, unfortunately. So while the embers cooled, she decided to take a trip over to Jamie and her family to spend some time with them. But she forgot her matches, which was no fun at all, and decided to come back to LA just a couple of weeks ago. Oh, but not before giving the family one of her very famous short back and sides. Oops, I did it again. Well, fortunately, my very own realistic wig is machine washable, so none of those worries for me. Well, that's it for this week, I'm afraid. Stay home, stay safe, yes? Okay, bye-bye, see you soon, bye-bye.